This video cost me $2,000. Let me explain. What I'm about to tell you completely destroyed my YouTube automation channel because I wanted to shortcut my way to success. And as it turns out, that doesn't work. I think track records are very important. If you start early trying to have a perfect one in some simple thing like honesty, you're well on your way to success in this world. Charlie Munger. I would never think I would share something like this, but I'm doing it for two reasons. Number one, honesty is the best policy. I want to paint a realistic picture of myself and of my career. I don't want to come off as an I know it all guru because that's just not who I am. I'm just like you. I'm a human being and I make mistakes. I share my wins, but I also share my losses. And the second reason is that I want to share this with you. So hopefully you don't make the same mistake and don't waste your time, energy and money. Let's start at the beginning. I started my YouTube automation channel on June 6th. 2022. The channel is in the make money online niche. Here's an example of such a channel. The videos are about different ways to make money online. And you see, here's where we come to the first problem. I wouldn't watch a video like this myself. Recently, I found out that people were making 50 to $400. So my first piece of advice for you would be to choose a niche that you actually have an interest in. Don't worry about the CPM. You shouldn't neglect CPM, but it shouldn't be your main focus. Instead, what I recommend you do is you focus on making your videos as good as your main competitor or maybe even better. I found that generally whenever you chase something, it tends to run away from you. That a girl you really like? Well, if you chase after her, she's not going to be interested in you. Don't chase women. Really? They'll chase you. Is that your strategy? Yeah. Does it work? Works very well. <laughs> if you focus on becoming a valuable mate, then she will notice and she will most likely be interested in you because now you have something to offer to her. And I think the same thing applies to money and success. If you chase money, it will run away from you. However, if you focus on producing valuable content consistently, well, Guess what? You are attracting success because you are creating value and the byproduct of value is money. It's very simple, but it's not easy. And so here is where my $2,000 mistake happened. So my plan was to publish three videos per week. I gathered the video ideas from my competitors and then I sent them off to the freelancers so they can put the video together. And it actually worked pretty well in the beginning. Some videos were performing better than other videos. Some videos were getting tractions and impressions and even a couple of videos got picked up by the YouTube algorithm. I felt incredible and things were going according to plan. At this moment, I should have continued what I was doing, but impatience got the best of me. I really liked seeing the videos get picked up by the algorithm, but at the same time, I was imagining how much money I was missing out because those two, 3000 views could easily translate into something like 30, 40 dollars, which could offset my production costs. So I came up with a genius idea and I thought, Hey, let me shortcut my way to success. And that's when I decided to buy a Fiverr gig that is going to give you 1000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Super dumb decision. Yes, sir. So I placed the order on Fiverr and two days later, I have the subs and I have the watch hours and I met the requirement for the YouTube partner program. And here's where the $2,000 lesson comes in this video. At first, I worried about YouTube knowing that I bought these subscribers and this watch time and so they won't approve me into the YouTube partner program. But that never materialized and after a couple of weeks, I actually got approved and I started monetizing my channel. So you might be wondering, okay, that's great. So where is the mistake? What actually happened? What really killed your channel? You see, there is something which is called the law of unintended consequences. And according to this law, your actions are going to have consequences that you did not intend. And this is exactly what happened to my channel. I thought that my biggest problem was YouTube finding out 
that I actually cheated the system. That didn't happen, but something else much worse happened. So when you start a YouTube channel and you start posting videos, the YouTube algorithm is going to start getting data about who watches your video, who subscribed to your channel, who comments, basically all of these different signals. And they do that to understand what is the best audience to show your videos to. And as you keep posting videos, the algorithm starts to understand better who is the perfect audience for your videos. However, this can only happen if the data is accurate. If you go the route of cheating the system like I did, and you all of a sudden get an influx of these people who are viewing your content out of random and are subscribing, that's going to completely mess up the YouTube algorithm. And I think this is exactly what happened to my channel. It was performing really well. It was growing organically. And then I messed it up by buying fake subscribers and fake watch time. And after that, it all went downhill from there. So here is my $2,000 lesson for you. Don't try to shortcut your way to success. It's not going to work and it's going to backfire at you.